Hi, um, today we're going to be, um, this slideshow is called, uh, is for a APID course, Reference Text, Rail Operations, Reference Text 603, Rail Operations, U.S. Army Transportation School, Fort Utis, Virginia. Introduction. Railroads are an effective, efficient transportation and theater operation that can haul heavy loads with long distance minimum motive power. They are less hampered with the variation of the adverse weather than any other mode that they can move almost to the commodity. In addition, these advantages over the mode of the transportation usually carefully ca capacity of the rail train is not limited to by fuel, but fuel they must carry the advantage of the rail transportation can be exploited when operations are carefully planned skillfully carried out trains must be operated according to well-made movement plans and overall plan of the support of the military activities and theater operation information in this text explains how the rail operation is made part is made one day you might be given a responsibility of preparation what we will need to do first you want to know the responsibility of planning what and where it takes place where the intelligence information is used to be make the place from the information champ chapter one answer these questions Questions. Second, you must know how to answer the biggest question. Many shortage freights can be delivered front end, particular railroad, each day. To answer, you must determine the capacity of the railroad. You may not of the railroad. You may not be able to question precisely the explanations. In chapter two, should be enabled to make the estimate. This discussion in chapter three explains how the equipment required with rail operation. Three basic type of equipment: road ends and switch ends, and rolling stock. Your plan must show the amount of each of the type you will need. The fourth thing you must determine is the number of the people, kind of the way of organization. To Operation required. Chapter 4 explains how to compute, compute these figures and discuss how rail organized and based on the error assigned. Finally, you need to know about how much of what, what kind of railway supplies required to support the rail operation. The final chapter of the text explains how to compute these requirements for convenience in making computations. All tables and formulas in text is re reproduced in Annex A. Chapter 1, Planning and Intelligence. Um, one, one the, gen the Transportation Railway Service, TRS, is responsible for operating, maintaining railroads and theater operation, using rail lines, rail equipment, rail facilities that ex exist already in theater, only in construction material, rural railway equipment through brought into their, the theater of those needed to support military activities. But because of the large p potential carrying capacity of the train and railway system, the theater should be begin operation as soon as possible after the theater is established. This is as simple as sound. Railroad is complex but busy for the requiring of the planning, particularly military, railroad, war torn on areas. What does the planning, what does the information do you need, need, what does the information come from, what is the question answered in this chapter? The discussion begins with the planning that takes place long before military forces enter a theater operation. One, two, the provision planning of the Transportation Railway Service has a major part of the pre-invasion and planning of the logistics support of the theater where the railroad's major means of transportation take place in Zone in, 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 Interior Z. I zone I, interior Z I the railway planning long before the data is set in vision of the plan made is necessarily a broad one based only on only a, uh, based upon any and in all intelligence data on, on hand. However, the, every more information becomes available with the changes in the rail system theater and made in planning made of the purpose of the pre invasion planning to provide the general estimate of the potential movements capability particular railway system in the given theater only once the envision begins perhaps even there or before before the entire picture of the railway system starts starts to change the primary bombardment, both aerial and surface causes considerable damage to the railways in the area. Also, the enemy forces retreat usually blow up the tears uh, as much for rail lines, facilities, equipment as they can to deny in advance for forcing imme Im immediate use of the railroads. As soon as possible after our military services forces are engaged in the enemy, the railway planning of the, of the zone and in interior of the theater. One three, the planning of the theater operation, the staff planning function of the railway operation theater are responsible for the commander of the highest echelon of the transportation railway um, command and service command in the theater. The railway plan has developed and integrated all overall movement plans in the theater. The stated pre stating paragraph broad development in the zone and interior begins with the modified keeping the changes past place and actual invasion and theater development plans must be tailored to the mission, environmental, and, and, and enemy capabilities. It must be suited to the type of warfare, conventional nuclear or nuclear. How does the plan change and has it occurred the railway system or economy? is the answer. The earliest possible reconnaissance since captured in Liberty Railway Lines Theater responsibility for the commander highest equine of the transportation ra ra railroad services command the actual re reconnaissance made on the se selected personnel of the Transportation Railway Battalion TRB or battalions augmented the perso intelligent personnel of higher rail units and whenever necessary is and how it happens. This is a uh, 
railroad line with Sioux Railroad workers. The railway battalion who has assigned the division railway line to operate the reconnaissance of his division then makes the estimate of the time will take the general line operational capacity of the line item and that tonnage can be moved over the estimate based on the gauge of the length, the grade of the curvature of the line, the type of the equipment and available, the kind of the number of the facilities available for use. All you information is able to plan and estimate to make the forward transportation railway group which lets us instances highest equine TRS transportation railroad services command the group headquarters the information estimates the battalion of the consolidated for the railway transportation mail plan forwarded to the transportation command theater army support command TASCOM here the assistant chief task Chief of Staff movements integrate into the overall movements planning of the theater. At this point, the at the point of the first question is asked in paragraph one one answered. Who does who know who know who we know we know who does the planning and and where we need to know the information is required for planning. One four intelligence data necessary for planning p railway planning consistent by layer necessary estimates capacity of the rail line personnel necessary to operate maintain equipment supplies and for it certain intelligent databases database estimates of are essential. We're all needed or data are available planning of the operation is somewhat simplified. However, the required information is not available cannot be readily obtained. The planner must make assumptions based on information that does not have on experienced past rail. Um, <laughs> Based on the information that he does have experience gained in the past rail operation, some of the more important things need to know of his operation discussed in the following subparagraph. A. The detail shows on the map the photography ground in the air, such rail routes, number of the location of the rail facilities, number of the kind of structures and available to the planner, general description of the rail system facilities, general A. Is planner determination potential capacity system description should be given the information on ownership of the railway, general operating procedure, railway organization, important system to the economic system, structure of the country in which the located detailed basic characteristic routes, facilities, equipment, structures, operations, increasing the accuracy of the plan rail capacity as an estimate Intel intelligence data should detail on such items of the right of the way around route roadbed and track of the types of mount of the equipment supply the maintenance factors the spare the parts the engine houses the locomotive fueling water and stations and available availability of personnel one five the summer the initial planning of the railway operation of the theater begins in the zone interior for the plan based on whether the intelligence data that are available is necessarily broad or the invasion of beginning of the units of the phase of the theater re railway planning moves the, from the zone interior to the theater whether it is integrated overall to the theater of the transportation plan it changes in the railway system to develop and more information becomes available the plan is modified because it's more specific and detailed the general the, sorry the greatest modification of the plan results in the on the spot reconnaissance made by the transportation from railroad battalion commander selected personnel for this unit intelligence personnel hire rail units when it's necessary the information modified plan for the t transportation railway service chain of the command whether at each level of the plan data is consolidated with those of the railway units because of the long t large tonnage movement of the capability of the railroad operation should begin as possible as the theater established fairly accurately planning however there might be serious daily and beginning operational planner may not always be information he would like to live on on his operation making make assumptions made on the base of information does he have in a record experience gained in the railway operation in the previous theaters Chapter 2, Tonnage Capacity Determination. The general to general, the most important making part of the railway operation is determining how many tons of supplies equipment can be moved, the railway and delivered in the 40. Each day the line may be stretched with a single track. It may be one or more divisions of each ranging from 90 to 150 miles or um, a lot of kilometers in length. The capacity of each division bra branch lines m must be determined separately. Separately, the principal things that you must know before the accurate determination of the capacity of the railway line and the pulling and hauling of the locomotives using the resistance offered to pull the locomotive is the number that the train can be operated each and of the line each day. Of the information is known, you can determine the net tonnage of the division of the railway. Will you know the net tonnage of every division of the railroad? You can estimate the number of the tons can be delivered on the forward end of the line each day. This chapter explains explains exactly how to determine the tonnage capacity of a rail line. Two two types of classification of locomotives, transportation railway service, personal use of most of the equipment they find in theater and most, most foreign countries use locomotives, diesel, electrical locomotives, or both. While the, the transportation railway services does not generally plan to use steam locomotives, they be, may be the only type of the use in theater thereof in the text discussed both. The leading wheel and in the driving wheels, and you see the diesel for the steam, the two, and then the eight. And then a zero. Here you see the uh, the double 
0660 diesel electric um, Lewis model. Locomotives are classified in several ways. The Army uses the white classification to classify the steam local diesel locomotives identifies the wheels arrangement. Sorry, it was the white classification. The system identifies with wheel arrangement. Locomotive wheels with crane grouped as a leading driving train trailing number. The number separated by the hyphens representing the number of the wheels in each group starting at the front end of the locomotive. The first steam locomotive, the first figure denotes the number of the wheels on the lead truck. The second represents the number of the driven wheels. The last figure, the number of the wheels of the trailing the, the truck, truck and the wheels are included in the illustration of the white system shows the wheel arrangements of the two locomotives shown in the inserted sketches since the wheel of the arrangement represents the side view of the locomotive only wheel of each pair is shown in the two and the 280 steam locomotives shown in the illustration uh, the 280 um, white classification model shown in the illustration two leading wheels the eight coupled the driving wheels and no trailing wheels the wheels are leading and the trucks no driving army diesel electric have no leading or trailing wheels they are denoted as by zero or zero six six zero diesel electric shown in the illustration six driving wheels of the front truck assembly and the six in the rear and the assembling with no large loading of the trailing wheels the white classification is generally accepted by the great britain british commonwealth north american system the and other or system complex com Commonly, com com commonly used in Europe or other parts of the world. The letters and figures did end up by the diesel electric locomotive by axle letter using the driving axle number. The number driving axles is the system A, the standard of the driving, and the B, the two, the C, B for two, C for three, D for four. Sorry, I, I don't know. D for four, all all small zero placed after the letter each of the individuals, the single locomotive with the two individuals powered by the two axles be classified be B O B O um B small B small O one and three axles which with the center axle the idler would be designated A one A one A one A. The wheel arrangements is designated by the white system are particularly important because they indicate the number of the driving wheels with locomotive pulling capacity. The locomotive is directed by the number of the driving wheels and the amount of wheel the rest on them. The two, three, the weight of the driver, the locomotive weight of the resist to the driver's expense by the pounds or short tons or STs on 2,000 pounds each. All the mention of the, the text is short tons, therefore to the ton and short ton are also inter interchangeable. The description of a weight of one driver differs from the steam of a diesel electrical locomotive. The difference is explained with the following Sarah Prayer. So paragraphs the steam locomotive illustration of the weight of the two hundred of the two eight zero coupler steam locomotive uh, sorry the two eight zero white um classified um cup um, wheels steam locomotive tender the figure one notice the locomotive tenders that two hundred ninety six thousand three hundred fifty pounds but only that portion of the total weight the rest on the driving wheels is a hundred one hundred forty one thousand five hundred pounds that affects the work capacity of the pulling power of the locomotive. The total weight of 296.3550 pounds. The tr truck leading weight is 21,000 pounds. The drivers of 1,150 pounds. And a tender of 133,350 pounds um, fully loaded tender. Diesel electric locomotive. The wheel distribution of the diesel electric is different from the steam locomotive because the diesel has a tender leading the trucks, trailing the trucks. All wheels on the army to diesel electric driving wheel. It was the entire weight of the type of the locomotive, the entire weight of the type of the locomotive distributed in the driving wheels are illustrated in the figure 1 2. That it will affect the pulling power. 2 4. The tractive effort expressed in the pounds of potential power of the locomotive horizontal force poor, poor power that the locomotive can exert in straight level tracks in the wheel does not figure 1 2. The wheel distribution of the 0660. Um, classification diesel electric locomotive slip a locomotive tractive effort including the data supplied by the manufacturer starting track for the traction tractor ev tractive effort on the locomotive used by the army given in the table one along with the other characteristic diesel electric locomotives the table designed with both road switchers and other they're called road switchers when the data particular low locomotive is not available series several available Formulas can be used determining the track effort depending upon its type. However, the military planning plus the rule of thumb method of determination adequate explanation is the text confined by the rule of thumb method with explaining the subparagraph following the exemption explanation of subparagraph A of the importance difference between starting a continuous traction of effort. The total weight of uh, 0660 white classification model is the total weight of 2,400,000 pounds. Um, Starting in continuous traction effort, the power of the locomotive to move itself, load and halt and stop in position called the starting the traction effort. Continuous traction effort is the effort required of the train rolling in one 
and rolling once it has been started the start of the continuous traction effort forward of the steam uh, locomotives are the same because it continue to move anything that it can start on the other hand of the diesel electric locomotive can uh, continue to exert maximum power for the prolonged period of the manage without damaging the traction motor therefore the continuous traction effort is rated at 50 percent of the starting traction effort the rule of thumb method of determining traction effort starts with the traction effort related to the adhesion between the driving wheels and the rails and the power that applied to the driving wheels exceed the amount of the adhesion driver slip when the real rails are dry the amount of adhesion is 30 percent of the weight of the driver while the rails are wet it's 20 percent therefore the rule of thumb determining the traction effort of the average of the two is 25 percent of the weight on the drivers on the locomotive is and this show it shows the weight of the drivers the starting traction after the total weight of the um, small tons and the maximum curvature transversal degrees of a standard broad 556 and a half six inch by th 63 inch by 66 inch gauge for um, the diesel electric locomotive uh, 131 ton 127 ton the uh, 0440 model um, at 120 ton 65 ton and the 280 80 ton steam Note that the starting traction effort given in the table may also be used the continuous traction effort. The steam power for the diesel electric power continuous traction effort is one half of the starting uh, traction effort. The starting traction effort for, easel, for example, the diesel electric locomotive, the 200,000 pounds weight of the driver is starting in the traction effort is 50,000 pounds. The 200,000 times 25% of the 50,000 pounds continuous traction effort of the locomotive is only 50% of the starting traction effort of the 25,000 pounds. The draw pull bar, the DP, 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 DBP, the locomotive is actually pulling the ability to track the effort of the less than necessary to move the locomotive itself. In other words, the draw pulley bar is the effort of the locomotive that has left after this move itself. Tests have shown that figures takes the 16 to 20 pounds pull per time to start the average locomotive the ferry car started the level track in the fair weather the weather moderate your temperature the locomotive the freight of the car the whip the rolling bearing starting the effort required the somewhat however the military planning purposes 20 pounds per total locomotive is subtracting the continuous traction effort of the locomotive to establish multiple ability for the starting pulling train and that is force that can be applied for the draw pull bar of the locomotive it emphasizes the max draw pull exerted on low speed um, speeds up to 10 miles per hour after which drops the sharply draw pull uh, pull of speeds above the 10 miles per hour can be obtained applying the speed factor of the maximum draw pull bar however speed factors are not included in the text because the train theater theater rarely travels average speeds above 10 miles per hour for the diesel electric locomotive weighing 90 tons having a continuous traction extra effort of 22,500 pounds draw pull bar is computed as a this follows to protract 20 pounds per ton for the total locomotive from the continuous traction effort to get the draw pull. 90 tons total, total locomotive times 2,000 number of the pounds per ton equals the total locomotive weight of 180,000 pounds. The 180,000 pounds divided by the traction effort gives you the 4,500,000 starting traction effort. The 45,000 times the 50 continuous traction effort is 222,500 pounds continuous traction effort. The 90 tons total local weight, local weight locomotive um, divided by the 20 pounds per per total locomotive continuous traction effort um, you get 180,000, sorry, 1,800 pounds of subtraction, continuous traction effort. The 22,500,000 continuous traction effort minus the um, number of pounds subtracting the continuous traction effort that gives you the draw pull of uh, 20,700 pounds. In the figure draw pulley for the steam locomotive, a reminder of the starting continuous traction effort of the same once you determine how much the locomotive is capable of pulling the next time. You have to find out how much the resistance offered to opposition to pull the forms of the resistance they pose to pull the train caused by the train of the track and runs on the rolling grade in the curve in the fourth are referred to the weather factor as measured with decreased efficiency locomotive cold weather each of these four forms resi resistance is discussed separately in the next four main paragraphs two six the rolling resistance the following action of the pound the train direction parallel to the track tender them the hold back the mo movement of the calling the called the resisting rolling resistance the r and r the resistance takes more form the friction between the heads of the rail and flange is treads on wheels the undulation track beneath the moving international friction of the rolling stop friction to measure the a and through the train is moving the absolute figure that represents the rolling resistance unit is unknown the experience of the train movement theaters and other uses of the proper produce some of the same safe average values shown on the table too the table showed the what the values using on the roll expressed in the pounds per ton for the train 
Um, the value, cho value, value chosen it depends on the overall quality of the track. It's such an item such as ballastized rules, rails, tie plates must be evaluated to determine the track's quality. No set of policies rules available for indicating the features causing the condition of the track. Choosing depends on solely on experience for the planning of the purposes that may be obtained from deals of railway construction or rehabilitation plan for of engineers the track um per pound of train um, exceptionally good for five good for fair six fair for poor seven poor is eight and very pound poor is nine as shown in table two the poor of the track higher of the resistance factor must be determined how much the weight can you can attach to the locomotive except the Full pull for example, the value of the rolling resistance is seven pounds per ton of the train to the fare of the poor track. This means each ton of the each ton of the train seven pounds force must be used to overcome a rolling resistance. Two seven the grade resistance resistance progressing the train over the grade of the cut on the grade resistance caught the gravity it tends to pull the train downhill. The formula follows the grade resistance shown in the beginning equal to twenty pounds per ton for each of the twenty percent. This means twenty thousand twenty pounds for the force must be exerted to move the one short ton of the train up to each one percent of the grade in railroads show per percentage of the expression number of the feet of the vertical and provides per 100 feet horizontal di distance for example if a 100 foot section of the rise is two feet the percentage of the grade for the section is two the planning of the operation trains military prior pr planners primarily interest maximum ruling of the grade of the grade is limited to hundreds of locomotive can can pull therefore the per percentage of the grade is formally expression of the amount of the rise of 100 feet the ruling grade for driven a rail Given a railway line grade resistance found in multiple 20 pounds per ton, the training percentage of the ruling grade. The grade resistance, GR, T1 in a ton of 2,000 pounds, R is the percent of the ruling grade, B is the one stoppage. The GR, the grade resistance of the per ton, may be expressed as soon as the person end of the ruling grade for the division is of railroad is 2.3. Assume that the percent of the rail rolling grade for the division of the railroad is 2.3. You can find the grade of resistance as follows. The grade of resistance is equal to 20 times 2.3 or 4, 46, point, 46 pounds per ton of the train. 2.8. The curve of resistance. The curve necessary each time the railway changes the direction of the resistance progress on the train. No exact mean of determination. Curve of resistance has been published. However, the military planners use a 0 0.8 pound per ton training per per degree curvature. This means the 0 0.8 pounds for worse than power must be exerted to move one ton of train around each degree curvature. The rolling sharpest curve of the line is, for example, the ruling cover of the rail division is 10 degrees. You find the curve of resistance to the line multiplying by 0 0.8 Eight, the pounds of force of, um, um, exerted to move the train over the degree of curvature by the rail for the for the curved rail division finding the curve resistance is 10 degrees the cur the curve resistance is eight pounds per ton train. 29 weather factor the weather factor is a percentile expression adhesion of the cold and weather wet cold wet weather hauling power of locomotive experience has has proved that I did that the outside temperature drops below 32 and the hauling power of the locomotive decreases the grease mainly from the ch change tolerance been by moving the parts of the locomotive caused by the contraction of the metal the increase the level loss of heat injury the energy the engine of the lost temperature of the table three goes to the loss of hauling power various degrees temperatures also corresponding with weather factor but in the percentage look under the temperature column in the table find one percent to ten one degree to ten degrees Fahrenheit note that the 15% of the hauling power is let lost. Corresponding weather factor, factor is 85% um, of the percentage of the hauling from the locomotive retaining the temperature in this range from 1 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. 50% is lost, corresponding to 85% of the percentage of the hauling power when the temperature is in this range. The most adherent and the most adverse temperatures from above 30 degrees lost in hauling percent is zero with a weather factor of 100 degrees. Dropping 5 degrees each um, total of 10 pounds or first to the 1632 and 0 to 15 losing 10 hauling percent and weather factor percentage um dropping in a cat like a function of five percent with okay with weather um, drops in temperatures weather is usually regarded loss of local temperature loss of the hauling power caused by the absorbed average figures therefore no reduction in hauling power is normally made with wet weather than some areas of the world 
However, the weather there extended the site season, such as monsoons, heavy fogs, loss of the traction effort due to the slippery rails may seriously affect if adequate sanding facilities are lacking. The amount of the reduction that shows in the plan should be used in the area of the matter of the judgment, but in general you should not use the figure for use for less than 20% of the weight of the drivers. 10 to 10 gross talent trailing load. Once you have found the potential power, the local the reason for the power cannot be used to haul the Reason the reasons that all the powers can be cannot be used with the haul of the freight. Next step of the planning is to determine how much weight of the railway cars the freight of the can be attached behind and move the particular locomotive the weight known as the gross tra trailing load (GTL). The gross training tra trailing load expressed in short tons. The gross trailing load is the maximum weight of the load of the locomotive can so safely pull behind its overclock given line and known whether it is determined using the following formula combines with the factor discussed in two five through two nine. The co gross trailing load. Um, GT. All right, they made an error on this page, but it's um, GTL and draw pulley bar, weather factor, rolling resistance, grade resistance, curve resistance. Note that the text raises all the comp computation resulting in the fraction of the next higher w um, whole number. The gross trailing load is equal to the draw pulley times the we we weather factor time under divided by the re re rolling resistance, grade resistance, and the curve resistance. If the train is double-headed or pushed up, or use the great gross trailing load is equal to the sum of the gross trailing load for all locomotives and multiplied by the 90% steam locomotives, 100% of the diesel electric locomotives, doubling head of the means coupling two or more locomotives to the head of the head end of the train, pushing one or more of the locomotives coupled to the rear end of the train. Example of the demonstrating of the find the gross trailing load presented in the next maximum paragraph is essential to determine the net train load, net division tonnage, and the delivery tonnage discussed later in the text. 211 exemption of the gross tonnage load determination you are going to operate the railway division 100 miles in the theater operation during the winter you have following the information the railroad you wish to determine the gross trailing local locomotive of the 066 the locomotive diesel electrical total to weight around 2400 pounds of 122 tons starting attraction effort at 72,000 pounds as a continuous traction effort at 36,000 pounds weather cold with the lowest temperature ranging from 11 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit track single track standard gauge fair to poor grade percentage of a rolling grade of one point five curvature sharp if the rolling curve is a hundred to use the full formula of the gross trailing um, load given the preceding paragraph you must find the values for the draw pulley the weight whether the rolling resistance the grade resistance and the curve resistance Curvature resistance. Draw pulley. Your locomotive's continuous traction effort at 36,000 pounds of the 20,000 pounds per total weight of them. Subtract the draw pulley bar. Thus, for the weather factor in the table, you find that 11 and 20 degrees. The locomotive loss of 20% of the hauling effort. Therefore, the weather of the factor is 80%. This means the locomotive is able to exert only 80% 80 per, 80 of its only norm, normal hauling. The rolling resistance table. You find the rolling resistance 70 pounds, 7 pounds per the ton track related to the po relate, rated fair to poor. The po value must re use in the rolling resistance then is seven the grade resistant paragraph explains the grade resistant is equal to 20 pounds per ton and multiplied by the percentage of the rolling grade which is 1.5 the railway is um, division when multiplying 1.5 times 20 by 20 you get 30 the value of the grade resistance the curve resistance the curve resistance is found explained in the paragraph 2.8 multiplying 0 0.8 per ton on the train per degree of the curve for example the 0 0.8 multiplied on 100 gives a, you a value of 8 the, using the formula substitute the value you have found the factors of the subparagraph through the formula of the gross trailing load as follows 120 total locomotives of the 20 pounds is 2200 amount pounds amount of the subtracted continuous traction effort the 36,000 continuous traction effort by the amount of the subtracted continuous traction effort gives you the draw pulley of 33,000 33,600 draw pull pounds draw pulley the gross trailing trailing load of 33,600 pounds times 0 0.8 or 7 plus 3 divided by 7 plus 3 30 plus 8 or gross trailing load of 26,880 divided by 45 the gross trailing road is 597 or 590 Short, 598 short tons. The double heading train using the pusher. If you use two locomotives each of the train, double heading gro growing tra gro gro gross trailing load is 1,196 the short tons. You will find that adding the gross trailing, tra tra um, trailing load for each of the locomotives when using the steam locomotives, you would only use 90% of the combined gross trailing load because there is efficient see that the steam locomotives retain the double head headed. 
212 the net train load the payload of the actual weight of the freight train carries the net train load the difference between the total weight of the cars under the same same cars empty the gross trailing load minus the weight of the empty cars man military plans use the total weight of all the cars train and the subtract rather than assume the 50 percent of the gross trading load is pay payload for example presented in the preceding paragraph of the gross trailing load for the single 066 lewis model diesel electric in a short locomotive ish 598 short tons of net train load of the locomotive of the division and 50 percent of the 598 short tons of is 299. If each train carries the net tra train load of 299 short tons, you find the total number of payloads and dividend net division total tonnage that can be moved rail division each day by multiplying the net train net, uh, net train load by the number of the trains that run over the division each day. The following paragraph explains how to determine just how many trains you can safely operate. The 598 short ton gross training load of the locomotive times 50% times 50 of the gross trailing load of the net training trailing load um, is 299. Um, 213, sorry, 213 training de density. The number of trains that can be safely operated the rail division in each of the direction is 24 hours period of the train. The tra train de density for the division works with the train not including the computing the train density. However, the presence amount of the time block of the main line reduces the train um, train density of the rail division. The density of the di different diversions depending on the length and number of the tracks on the main line, the number of the location passing the tracks, capacity of the yards and terminal signal and communication system, method and procedure of the training, movement and availability, train crews, motor power and rolling stock. On the single track of the line, passing tracks should be from six to eight miles apart from the trains that can be the pass that over the passing track of the five miles and other is expected to affect the train density. The rule of thumb method of the formula is determining the train density the rail division and following the subparagraph when do you have enough the information of the rail line, you should use the rule, rule of thumb method the using formula values of the substituted and at are known. The rule of thumb when the planner does not know the number of the location of the passenger t tracks, the length of the time, the average speed of the train that can be offered operated safely over the line. He uses the following rule of thumb for the train density of a single track line. The train density of 10 or on a double track of the line. Tra train density of 30 is established formally to determining single track density in the train theater operation. One most of the tra one track of the most double track cannibalized and maintain one of the good tra single train or some single track. Cannibalized means to remove, um, remove ser serviceable parts of the one item that equipment is installed they one another. The discussion is that the tasks are combined Confined to single track operation, the following form may be used to determine the fair accurate the train density of the specific single track railway division if the factors include it or not are in it or not are in at are in it are known. Train density equals the net train um, plus one divided by two times twenty four times the as the average speed divided by the length of vision. Um, the 20 in there is just a page number, so when so it reads as where the train density is in that number of the passing tracks, NT, the number of the tra passing tracks, plus 1, the constant number of the trains that could be run if there was no passing tracks, 2, the constant, the convert the 1 in the direction, 24, the constant number of the tw hours per day, is S, the average speed, the length of division, LD, and the example of how you use the determine the train density pre presented in the next paragraph is based on the pertinent information on the hypothetical railway divisions. 214 explain the trans train density and determination. You are going to open and operate a single track rate in a rail division of 110 miles rolling grade of 1.3% of the track rate of good or the fair passing are located in the following distances in miles beginning with the division of 7, 15, 21, 27, 31, 37, 45, 53, 60, 66, 74, 81, 85, 91, 97, and 103, which in the information of the formula you can find the values for each of the unknowns determine the train density. The following subparagraphs discuss this is each unknown illustrating how to use it. The number of passing track, NT. The NT, the stated the uh, number of the passing tracks, early passing track should be intervals with six to eight mi miles along, mi along, the main, along the main line. The passing of the track with the five miles, another another one should be counted the determination of the track determination because two passing the close together net passing the train, the train density because the two passing tracks are close together and not increasing the train density. The formula of the value of the should be substituted for net number of tracks, number of passing tracks. Hypothetical division of 14 noted so that the value 2 less than the number of the passing tracks, but then the 2 of the mile post of 3185 or 5 miles of the track, immediately proceeding that they should not be counted.
The average speed S of the table forward represents the average speed value of the different conditions of the track. Person is the ruling grade experience of the previous military railway operation that proved these factors are accurate enough to determine the terrain density. You know, knowing that the factor division is related rated to good or fair, the ruling grade of 1.3% for the table determining the average speed of the rail train is the single track rail line. Rail line get rated to good the fair of the ruling one grade of 1.5% or less than 10 miles per hour. Remember that the most restrictive factor is on governing the selection of the average. For example, the track was rated for the good fair from the following grade was 2%. The grade factor would be the most restrictive average speed of would be 8 miles per hour. Here you see the track, the percentage of the rolling grade, and the average speed for a single and double track. Some something good with a 1% rolling grade that gives you a 12 to 14 miles per hour. Good fare to 1.5 to less percent percent of rolling grade, which gives you the 10 to 12 miles per hour. The fare poor 2.5 or less gives you the average single and tra double track of 8 and 10 miles per hour. The poor 3.0 less uh, gives you the single track of 6 miles and the double track of 8 miles per hour. The length division of the LD, you, know, you also will know your division of 110 miles. And therefore, the value of length division in the formula is 110. Using the train to necessarily know that you have the value to substitute for each of the unknowns, your formula develops as follows. You want to know what each locomotive can pull for the amount of the freight payload moved on each of the train number of the trains you can run each day. You determine the net division tonnage as expense. Explain in the next paragraph. The train density over the... Um, number of the tracks plus 1 divided by 2 um, times 24 hours a day times the um, speed over the... Load density, I guess. I, I, I load the TD of 14 plus 1 divided by 2 times 24 times 10 divided by 10. And the TD 15 times divided by 2 2400 divided by 110. Um, length determination, I guess. LD um, 15 divided by 2 divided times 24 divided by 10, 110 equals 3620 3, or t turning density of 16 plus 3 or 17. The net division tonnage is the, net, the, tonage, the, tonage, the tonnage and payload ex, expert, expressed in short tonnage that can be moved all, all over any division in, each day. The net, net division tonnage. The net division tonnage includes the railway operating supplies, which must be reprogrammed. The move is the same as the supplies of any other services. The net division tonnage is computed separately in each of the division and rail line. Determining the multiple line, line, multiplying the train net, net train load, the train density, for example, the net train division, uh, net train load. For the division is 383 short tons of the train density of 17 estimated at the net division tonnage is at 6,501 short 11 short tons or 380 times 17 is 6,501. Uh, so far, one and one. However, the estimate of the value of only the all pa in, in, train passengers, the freight trains, and other types of trains, such passengers, troops, the hospital trains are used. They will replace the equal number of the freight trains. The operation such as trains anticipated and allowance. The net net total division net total division tonnage estimate is made to adjust the adjusting train density of the division. For example, four passenger cars scheduled for the division, or the need anticipated estimated the net train uh, division tonnage is adjusted the amount. Multiplying by 380 by 13, since you would run only 13 freight trains, the adjustment of the net train division is 4,979 short tons. The ending train de de delivery ton is the, the final step of the railway capacity determination estimation planner have been trained by tra by trying to make the end of the delivery the end delivery tonnage. The end of delivery tonnage is the number of the short tons that are through the freight train that can be delivered at the end of the rail line, the end of the rail line railhead each day. The determination is more, more, most important to the planner because the point freight has supper supports the combat force forward at areas in the th theater and all rail movement where the freight is delivered ex exclusively rail by the ending to delivering tonnage is the same as the net to the division tonnage. The most restrictive division of the entire railroad, for example, the net tonnage, um, net, net, net tonnage load, load, for example, the Vision of three railroads at 383 short tons and the train density at a 10, 10, 10, 9, and 11. The net net delivery tonnage is 3,830 or 3,447 or 4,213 respectively. The engine delivery tonnage for the railroad would be 3,447 short tons. The second division is most restricted because of the low train density 
nine. Okay, um, 217, example of the railway line capacitor for particular application for information found in the chapter that explained the presented how to determine the tonnage capacity hypothetical three division single track standard gauge rail line theater operation extended from the all port of the railway head as port terminal two division terminals upon the terminal of the at the railhead assume that the planner and your following intelligence information about each of the three divisions your problem is determine the end of delivery tonnage at the railhead and end of the rail line. The first division length of the line is 105 miles. The track is good affair. The person at the ruling is 1.5. The ruling, ruling, ruling curve is 2.5. The temperature low expected from 0 degrees to 5, 15 degrees. The motive power is 0, 0, 6, 6, 0. Um, white, model, white model DSL electric 127 road locomotives uses data. The table the number of effective passing tracks is 12. The second division length of the line is 10 miles. Track of the good affair. The person is ruling grade 1.8. The ruling curvature of 5 degrees. The temperature of Lowest expected one to the ten percent. The motive power of the zero four four. The lowest power is electrical locomotive draw pull bar of three thousand six hundred pounds each. The number of effective passing tracks is six. The third division of the length of the line, line is ninety six miles tracks. The good affair of the percent of the ruling grade of one point two. The ruling curve of three th th of three three degrees. The temperature lowest expe expected the zero to fifteen degrees. Motive power same as the first division. Number of the effective passing tracks is eleven. That because the end of the delivery tonnage is the same as the net, the net division of the tonnage for the most restricted division, you must determine the net division tonnage for each division. The 218, the first division of the net, to, the first step of determining the net division to tonnage for the first division to, is to find the starting attraction effort of the locomotives. You can find the traction effort table 1 shows the 0660 127 diesel electrical locomotive having starting effort of 75,700 pounds and the continuous traction effort of the locomotive 50% of the started in the traction effort at 3,837,850 8, pounds for your second step of the find the draw pole bar. The draw pole bar local weighs 127 lo local weight, locomotives weigh 127 short tons each of the subtract 20,000 pounds per total locomotive weight for the continuous traction effort. You find that you have the, tr the track draw pull bar at each locomotive at 20 times 127, 2,540, 3,850. But, um, 2,540 equals um, minus 2,540 is 3, 35,310 draw pull bar. Gross trailing load, the first standard of the fi find the gross trailing load of the locomotives of the formula gross trailing load presented by the paragraph 210 must be found in the values of each of the unknown. You already have found the draw, draw value of the draw pull bar there for the concentrating wa wa weather rolling resistance, grade resistance, curve resistance, the price of the filing. And the values of the filing in order mentioned whether using the table 3 information gives the first division you find losing a uh, hauling percentage power of 0 to 15 degree is 10%. Therefore, the value of the weather factors on um, weather is 90%. The rolling resistance single track of the first division rate of the good of the pair that shows the value of 6 should be the using roll, rolling stock. Grade resistance multiply 20 pounds per ton of the percentage of the rolling grade of the division 1.5. You can find the value of the grade resistance is 30. The curve resistance, the resistance, the rolling curve of the division is 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.8 per, per pounds to train value of the curve resistance CVR of curve resistance of 2. Using the formula, now you have the values unknown, unknown. Substitute the formula for the gross trailing load illustrated in subparagraph so um, 211. Make sure the necessary computation. The gross trailing load of the draw pulley times the weather time divided by the resistance of the ground resi uh, grade resistance and the curve resistance of the grade trailing load was 35,310 times 90% weathered times 6 um, percent grade curved uh, 6 plus 30, 6 ra um, rolling resistance, 30 grade resistance, 2 curve resistance. The great, great, the gross trailing load of 31,709 divided by 38 equals 836 or 837 short tons. The net train load for the fourth step of the finding net train load is explained in paragraph 212. The net train load is 50% of the gross trailing load. That the net train load of the division of 419 short tons, 837 divided by 50% of the uh, is the, at the net training lo load is 418 or 419 short tons. The train density now at the first step of the determinant of the train density for the division of formerly paragraphed in 213 and the information in 217A values the unknown should expect the average speed since the track is greater than the fare the percentage of rolling grade is 1.5. Table 4 shows the average speed of the 10 miles per hour should be used substituted for the value of the formula making the competitions for the um 
subtract density. 12 plus 1 divided 12 plus 1 divided by 2 times 21 times 10 divided by 105. Subtract density is 13 divided by 2, 22 times 240 to 105. And still the track density is 3,120 so divided by 2, giving you a track density of 14 or 15. The net division tonnage, you know that the net division tonnage is the terrain density for the division final step to find the net division division tonnage and multiplying the two values the net division tonnage by the train density 419 times 15 is equal 6,285 short tons you do not have to run any passenger trains over the division you can move 6,285 short tons over it 219 the second division of the net train is the net tr net um Division tonnage. The discussion of the net division tonnage remains the two division much better. If, however, the necessary pre pre computation presented in the following draw poll for the 0440, this is the locomotive used by the second division, is given 33,600 pounds in the paragraph 217b. Therefore, the first computation is gross trailing load. It is the draw point bar is 3,600. The, weight, the weather is 0.85 resistance or, or percent. Rolling resistance six, grade resistance thirty six, the control resistance four, the gross trailing load um, calculations come out with uh, is the formula one shed um, the draw pulley times the or the uh, gross tonnage. Well, anyways, you get a gross tonnage of 600 to 620 to 621 short tons. The second computation of the net train of the net train is load of the 50% of the gross tra training load. The 50% of the gross tra training load of the net training load is 310 of the, the 311 short ton. The third computation is the train is for train density. Net training load net train the net tra uh, sorry the, sorry let's go back. Net trailing load, um, number of tracks is six. The speed is eight. The load de the load density is 110. The track density um, computations worked out to be over the um, training density is six plus or or seven. Final computation net division and net trainage division. Is net trainage division is total train density by the net trainage um, load. The net trainage division tonnage is seven times 311. Net trainage division tonnage is 2,177 short tons. The 223rd division of net division tonnage is the motive power used in the third division in the same time as the first division. Therefore, you become the computation of the gross tonnage loading. The, the draw pulley is 35,310. Weather resistance of 90%. The rear rail rolling resistance is 6. The grade resistance is 24. The curve resistance is 2.4. The grade training load computations work out to be 980 to 981 short tons. The second computation is the net train load of the net Train load, but equals the gross gross trailing load times 50%. The net trailing load by the 98 is nine, um, worked out to be 981 for the gross trailing load times 0 0.5. The net trailing load for the 490 is 491 short tons. The third communication of the train density. The first commutation for the train division and for the net train division. The net train division division tonnage of the train density by the net um, train load. Net division train tonnage at 15 times the net division train load at 491 the net division train um tonnage is 7,365 short tons see the number of tracks at 11 speed the 10 load density is 96 um train um to to find, and then you work out the problem to find the train density of 15 211 sorry 221 ending in delivery Tonnage for the line. Know that you found the net division tonnage for all three divisions. The first division, 6,285 short tons. Second division, 2,177 2, short tons. Three, third division, 7,365 short tons. You now know the end of delivery tonnage is the same as the net division tonnage on the more, most restrictive division for the second division of 2,177 short tons. The 22, uh, 222, the method of adjusting the ending tr division tonnage. The If you were playing an actual word, Railway operation similar to one represented in 217 through 221. You would want to examine the weak division to seek the net division tonnage could be increased by the, so that the end division tonnage could be raised. The second division explains the very low net division tonnage in relation to the other division and can, and can be increased by the double heading locomotives in construction, more passing truck. 
racks. Each of these methods is discussed in the following subparagraphs. A double heading of locomotives are there for the 0044 locomotives in the second division can be double headed. So, uh, since the diesel is double headed without losing loss of hauling power, for, power of the gross trailing load it can be doubled as the net training load. With the same is the track train density, the net train division tonnage adjusted to 4,347 short tons as a result of the engine division tonnage correspondingly increasing since the second division would still be more than most restricted third division net division tonnage of 4,347 short tons and end division tonnage of the railroad would use also be 4,347 short tons. You see the 621 short tons of the 044 locomotive of the second division. Number of locomotives at double head two what gives you a 1,200 and 420 short tons adjusted the gross tonnage load of the second division. 1,242 Adjusted by the gross tailing lines for the second division, a percent of the gross tailing lines for the net net, net training lo, next net net tonnage load adjusted adjust to 60, 60 six, back to six twenty one so um short tons of the next train, train, training load six hundred twenty one short tons adjusted um net to, to, total t tonnage um load. Times seven, the track density of the two division of 4,374 short tons adjusted the net division tonnage. <coughs> By increasing the number of pack passing tracks, if you can double head the locomotive, increase the number of the passing tracks, construction of the new ones proper to the location, six to eight miles passing track, the train density increased. For the example, the construction of new six new passing tracks, therefore increasing the train density to 12, the net division tonnage of the second division can be raised to 3,320. Uh, 3,732 short tons for the again. The end of division train tonnage is correspondingly raised. The adjusted the net division tonnage of 3,732 short tons for the division of the end, end, end division trainage tonnage for the railroad because of the division, which would still be the most restrictive of the three division. 3,311 short tons net division of it load um, the second division adjusted by the train density of the 12. Uh, second division, um, 311 times 3,000 uh, is, is now adjusted 3,732 adjusted by the net to division tonnage for the second division. 223, the summary determine the tonnage of the capacity of the rail line plan or the known as the work capacity hauling power of the locomotives intended to the entire potential force of the low powered locomotive known as the traction effort expressed in pounds cannot be usually solely hauling freight of the sum of the is used to move the locomotive. The traction effort of the locomotive is generally included in the data supplied manufacturer. However, when it is known that the military plan is computed by the rule of thumb whereby the 25% of the locomotive weight is the driver is the starting of the traction effort. Starting traction effort more power to the locomotive itself and the loading itself holding the stop position continuous traction effort is required to keep the train rolling at the, after it being started. No distinction may be between starting the continuous traction effort of the steam locomotive because it's generally continuing to pull when it can start and how the diesel electrical motive cannot continue to exert maximum starting power with damaging the traction mo without damaging the traction motors. Therefore, the continuous traction effort of the diesel electrical locomotive is approximately one half starting the traction effort, determining the traction effort, understanding the why classification essential plan of the because of the traction effort is directly affected by the amount of locomotive weight and the rest of the driving wheels. Why a system used the army classifying the locomotives to identify the wheel arrangement symbols indicating the number of the driving wheels. Certain reduction of locomotive powers affect the tonnage of the capacity rail line for the first reduction caused by the needs of the locomotive itself comes in the calling, relating the calculating draw pull bar for the subtracting the 20 pounds per ton of the locomotive weight for the continuous traction effort for the fine the actual pulling ability of locomotive or its draw pull other reduction of locomotives of rolling grade curb resistance expressed in pounds per ton of the train and reducing the efficiency of locomotive in bad weather weather factors expressed in percentage of magging allowances reduction of locomotive's potential power next thing the planner to do is to find out the maximum weight and load of the locomotive can safely pull behind it for knowing the gross trailing load expressed in the short tons includes the weight of the cars from the the remember freight in them remembering that when that when double train double headings or trains used or pushes adding the gross training tra 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 gross Trailing load of each locomotive, then multiplying by the total of the number to net 10, 90 percent of the steam locomotive, or 100 percent for the diesels. 
The next stop is to determine the net train load with the weight of the payload of the freight carried by the train. Military planners value the 50% of the gross train load and determine the net train load of the train and say the number of the trains can be safe to operate the rail division each of the directly in a 24 hour period vary each of the division rail line depending on the characteristics of if and enough intelligence data of the rail line are available the planner uses the formula into its accounting for the passing route track the average space the length of the division determination train density however the absence of sufficient information for military planners so has used the rule of thumb allows the tra train density of single 10 signal tracks and 30 double track the lines the next thing the bigger that division tonnage tonnage of the payload of the short tons that can move over the rail with the division each MP to computer then separated in the division of rail line and that division tonnage and the founder of the multiplying the net trainage by the train events of each of the division. The final step in determining the railway line capacity to deliver the tonnage, therefore the tonnage payload there can be delivered the railway ahead each of the day. All rail movement at the end of the delivery tonnage is the same as the net division tonnage of the most restrictive division of the railroad. One, once the tonnage capacity of the rail line has been determined, the next planner needs to know how to determine the amount of the type of the equipment required to, required to operate the maximum Railroad at maximum capacity. Chapter 3 Equipment Requirements. 3 1. Essential part of the railway planning is determining the amount of the equipment required for the operation of. To the military planning, the railway equipment falls in three categories stocking, consisting of boxcar, gondolas, flat cars, tank cars, refrigerator cars, road engines, motor power spot used to hold the train over the main line, main lines between the terminal division points and switch engine to the motor power used to the switch guards and division terminals. Each category has to determine how much each of the is required for the rail operation separately. Paragraph 3 3 and 3 4 following the paragraph discusses where the railway equips. Equipment comes in high and how is it to be obtained? The two, three, two of the available equipment. The equipment is liberated to occupy the territory that must be used in the train route. Away services, depending on the extent of the destruction of the damage and types available to fuel spared, and the plan of the maybe technical data of the railway equipment theater and logistics surveys, special transportation studies. Based on the intelligence report, report of the government, uh, governments and privately owned railways producing during the peace war time, articles appearing in some such publication, the British Railway, the Gazette, Gazette, uh, Gazette, and Gazette, and the United States Railway Aid, the U.S. Army, the owned the railway equipment to be used by the train railway services the theater authorization when required the type of the characteristics some of the motive power given in table one and preceding the chapter of the table five listing of the rolling stock whenever the planner can determine how much equipment is on hand and use in the theater should how it should be the equipment is listed in two tables here's the type of the car and it shows the box car with the gauge of the capacity and the ton of the of the wage the empty tonnage and the length and the width and the height of each of these flat cars the gondolas to the tanks and um depressions 3-3 three, three, rolling stock. When the planning of the rolling stock plan and the things in the term of the time and the number of the railway cars required to the move and threat the military operation freight movement in one direction only to port based depot of the railway headed to the forward area of the theater occasionally the freight may be moved to the point to point of the same division unloaded the different freight of the picked up and moved forward in the same train to the kind of the tra freight movement the commonly referred to is set out and filled out operation however the division times report remains approximately the same regardless of the kind of operation the enough to maintain the continuing car load movements that have been enough. The following paragraph explains how to make an estimate rolling stock requirements accurately enough than from the body planning purposes. 3-4 Estimating rolling stock requirements. Now each railway car has a rated capacity normally stenciled on it inside of the given the pounds. For example, the box car has 80,000 stenciled on the side of the rated capacity of 80,000 pounds of 40 short tons. However, the planning purposes of carrying capacity average payload for the car is 40,000 pounds, 20 short tons, 50% of the rated capacity. The reason, the good reason for the use of the half rated car capacity is that if the pack the box the full, if the pa you packed a box car full of lightweight bulky car cargo such as blanket the pay would payload would weigh less than in rated capacity if however the pack with them ammunition payload would weight much near might even exceed the rated capacity therefore a good average figure of the payload is planning is 50 percent of one half the rated capacity of all freight cars except for the tank cars capacity of the gallons and stenciled on their side the tank cars hold 10,000 gallons of water it would hold 10,000 gallons of any other liquid and it could load in ca content and capacity of the weight of the load it does not exceed maximum tonnage capacity of the car using the rated capacity for the tanker cars. Once you know the average paid load for the cars, you must find the number of the cars needed for the transportation delivery tonnage to refer to the first day is dispatch. The number of the cars dispatched at the port and the base of the operation is also the number of the cars or run over the first division in each of the Broadway planning the first day's patching discard, considering the same for all division railroad between the port and railway railroad head. Also, division assumed that they have the sum densities and sum number of the cars per train because the 
Polk of all air, all cargo moved in the theater of the freight from the port of the railroad head to, be, to find the number of the cars by the type of the required de, on one day's dispatch divided into the short tons of the transportation in each day of the type of car average payload for, of these cars. For example, how to determine one day's dispatch is given in the paragraph 45. We know that when you know the number of the cars the day, the, and the, one day's dispatch, you can determine the number of the total of the cars required to enter the operation. You must first know how to the, turn around the time the estimated number of the during, days required for the time of place and the loading of origin, mo moving to destination, unloading and re return to, to its origin. Such time is computed as follows. Uh, allows two, two days of the origin, two days in transit for the, each of the division, one forward, one returning the traffic, one in a day at a destination. The method is referring to the actual basis of the hours is usually allow, allowed the delays of the switching of the terminals and way stations and rehandling of the train and in transit. The, term, the total numbers required for the operation determine the multiplying the one day's dispatch of each type of the car. Turn around the total number required of the at one ten percent of each of the type of the car reserves to allow the contingency such as routine mountain inspection order cars and op uh, operational peaks and delays. Three five example determination rolling stock requirements assuming the planning of the railway operation theater operation the railroad is simple hypothetical three division single track standard gauge rail line to scale us in paragraph two seventeen chapter seventeen we are not a double heading or adding more sightings as your line re reaches the port of the railhead of the forward area of the theater of the railway to determine the end delivery tonnage for the railroad is two thousand seven hundred and two thousand one hundred and seventy seven short tons for the intelligence data you found that the ton should be moved over over the following basis of 50% of the end division tonnage, which should be box car, been box car, 40% of the gondola, and 10% flat cars. The three types of the cars all use the Army, U.S. Army rolling stock railway capacity, 40 short tons, and carrying capacity payload of, of 20 short tons each. So we probably find that how many cars made by the type of required to operate the railroad. First, you must find the value of one day dispatch, the DD, the computation of the important subsequent um, switch any requirements, the base of one day dispatch. Remember, in broad planning of the, the day dis, one day dispatch, consider the same uh, for all division railway operations. To find the number of the cars that type one day dispatch multiplied by the individual total tonnage of the and percent of the individual tonnage that can be hauled by each day, each type of the cars divided the result and carrying the capacity payload for the cars. For example, therefore, you find one day's dispatch consists of 55 box cars, 44 gondolas, 11 flat cars, and a total of 110 ca cars. Um, this shows the box cars, the gondolas, and the flat car. Totals um, up to from 55, 44, and 11, and equals to 110 of the d d daily d dispatch of all cars. Therefore, you find the daily, daily day's dispatch consistent with 55 box, 44 gondolas, 11 flat cars, the total of 110 cars. You value one day dispatch of the next day. The next step to determine how many cars required to move the end division tonnage every day. Uh, every day to find the m number multiplied by the division daily dispatch to each type of the car to turn around and add 10 percent of the reserve turn around time. The hypothetical railroad shown in the figure 3.1 is nine days. Your calculation may be as follows. Um, you see the daily dispatch by the t um, TAT by the uh, turnaround time equals the uh, RF, or should I say. And you, the total rolling stock required at 1,090. Uh, Total rolling stock. Whenever they add the reserve factor, you can eliminate the step of the computation, multiplying the following equivalents of 5% with 1.05, 1, 1, 10 1.1%, 1 1.20, 1, 20%, 1.2, 1 instead of 495 times 10 equal to 49 or 50 or 490 and 50 plus 544. Plus 495 plus 50 is a 445. Doing this 495 times 1.1 1 .1 equals 544 or 545. Your rolling stock requirements operate the railroad of 544, 545 box cars, 435 gallon cars, 109 flat cars, grand total of 1,900 cars. Now you must determine how many roads and engines are required to pull them over the railroad. You see, a, we'll read the top, and we'll go in around in a circle. Um, days port, in port terminal, one day forward travel, one day forward travel, one day forward travel, one day in rail, one day in railhead, one day return travel, one day in ra return travel, one day in road travel. These are between four different terminals. Terminals, or your um, delivery dispatch uh, um, and division. 
road engines, the number of the road engines required for the given the railway, the, the division may be found using the following formula, the train density, the running time, the terminal time, the 20 number of the days, and the hour, the constant two-way traffic, 1.2 con constant, allowing 20% re uh, reserve expression, the formula known as the engine factor, the representing the percent of the dur time during the 24-hour period, the road engine is used to provide the pool, the use of the motive power that makes one or more of the tramps per day over the short division. The three unknowns of the formula, the track density is found in the explained in the paragraph 213 and the 214, the running time found in the division, adding the length and division of the average speed in the train term, terminal time found by the using table 6, sorry, yeah, 6, terminal time is time required servicing, terminal, turning the locomotive. The type of motor power of these electric is 3 hours. The type of steam powered is 8 hours. The number of road engines required must be computed for each of the divisions separately. A detailed explanation how to determine the road engine requirements is presented in the following paragraph. 3, 7, examine, example determination road engine requirement the division of the railroad using the example for the 110 of the second division given the example the paragraph 2, 7, in the 219, the train density is 7, the track is the rate of get, rate Gated, rated good as a pair of the rule and graded 1.8 percent the motive power, motive power the use of the road road services of the division is 0440 use electric load motor ma ma manual since the value of the tra train density of the formula is known that you must find the um, running track running time and the tra terminal track ta terminal time uh, the length of division 190 divided by the average speed given to the running time. Looking at the table of four, the average speed of 10 miles per hour given the good fare track of the ruling of 1.5% less than the ruling grad of the, through the division 1.8. Therefore, the more restrictive the 2.5 governors, the average speed then is 8 miles per hour. The value of the running time is 414. Sorry, the value of the running time is 14, 110, and plus 8 plus. 110 8 equals 13 plus or 14. Now, um, look at the table which shows the terminal time for the diesel electric locomotive. The three hours of the value is substituted. In the formula, the track term, ter, um, terminal time, therefore, the three of the computation of the road engines follows following the same procedure. Other two divisions, first division requires 21 road engines, third division, and totaling requirements, 30 divisions. You get the number of the road engines needed to operate the railroad 12, 20, plus 21, plus 20, and 53 road engines. Switch engines. The th third final category of the railway equipment must be planned for the switch engine. These use the move. The railway is received, classified, reassembled, departure note. The two yards of the same size have the same scope of the operation. However, the function of the main yards of the road is essentially the same. The number of the tra switch engines required of the terminal based on the number of the received. The dispatch for passing through the, in the per day, the number of the baby computed, but the number should be applied with the table foot seven of the computer. The number of switch engines required of each terminal. For example, explanation of the termination of rolling stock with the paragraph three five of the 220 cars pass through the each division. Terminals, terminal each day of 110 or in 110 return traffic. Um, no, not, not counting the 10% of 242 cars reserved. However, the, you do not include the reserve calculating number of the switch engines needed to the table. Seven shows the need of one switch engine of the every 100 cars passing on the division terminal each day. Therefore, the example, you need three switch engines for 220 plus 120 or two plus or three for each division terminals. You may also need a fourth for 240 plus 67 equals three to plus or four or at the railhead. As far as switch engine requirements, you should look at the four at the port, three at the second division, Three at the third division, four at the railhead, and four hundred fourteen sub total. Total re um, required the entire entire railroad must add to twenty percent subtotal of the total and allow allow reserve maintenance operational peak. And I can't read the rest because of the screen capture. Location port and loading terminals one per sixty seven cars dispatch received per day switch engine required division terminal and division terminals one per one hundred cars passing per day railhead and unloading one per sixty seven cars dispatch received per day three nine seven the three types of equipment that must be included in the planning of the road sa rolling stack road engine switch engine the question is how many of each type will be particular operation number of the cars rolling stack needed for the base time one day's dispatch remaining the payload of the cars fifty percent rated capacity you find the days dispatch multiplying Delivery tonnage of the patient and percent of the gross division tonnage carried by the, each of the type of the car, dividing the result of the payload of the cars, and then the gives the number of the car type by the type car, cars by the type of the one days dispatch day of the dispatch one day dispatch the multiple number of the turnaround or as to the product of the ten percent allowed the reserve the contingency you get the number, total number of the cars by the type type of the required of the entire the operation road and general requirements I computed so. <gasps>
separately separately for each of the division multiplied by the train density by the inch of the packager multiplying by two for the two-way traffic finally with 1.2 provided with the 20 percent reserve when the number of the road engines required is each division no, is known the total of these numbers are required for the whole rail operation the number of the switch engines required at the division terminal and one of the every 100 cars passing through the terminal each day at the port unloading the terminal railhead unloading at the requirements for a, only one for every 67 cars dispatch received or per day on once the number of these switch which engine is needed at each of the division terminal of the port railhead is known as the total percent plus 20% of the switch engine requirement, including the reverse factor of the entire railway operation. The planner knows how much of the equipment is needed, how much determine how many people are required to operate. The following chapter explains how to determine the personnel requirements. Chapter 4 of the personnel requirements. Thus, the further discussion to explain a nation and transportation planner obtains the how to use the determined capacity of the railway amount of the equipment required to operate. The millionaire's next job is to determine how many people needed for the railway operation determine the number of the road crews, switch crews, and subsequently the number of the kind of railway units acquired or acquired as explained in this chapter, the two, three, four, two, the road, chat, road crews. The number of road crews needed in each division based on the amount of time that each crew works, rest time, each crew requires work time, includes two hours call period, running time, one period, and period of destination. Normally, crews should have 12 hours before reporting back on duty, two hours call per period is necessary or original time the terminal division for the crews to report to receive the orders, dis instruction, make the local motor the roundhouse and departure, couple it to the train, test the air brake system, check the train consistent with the running time, the, um, the length of the time is to the um, um, run the training over the division the, uh, computed by the stated paragraph 3 6 is dividing the length of the division average speed of the train the average speed is not known the planner should assume that the 8 miles per hour the single track operating in the theater and 10 miles per hour in the double track operation another time factor that must be included the computational one hour period of the final destination allows the placing for all uh, for the train designation moving the locomotive around house and submitting the necessary reports normally some of the all occur period of the running time of the one period of the final destination should now exceed 12 hours of the crew sufficiently time to rest before reporting back on duty the 12-hour time limit may be exceeded the short periods of emergency however the experience provided by safety efficiency decreasing the crews most work with the continuous daily shift more than 12 hours possible work crew to the 16 to 18 hours provided with the sufficient recess periods allowed before the report back on another road crews may be required the longer shift and longer to, uh, of the length of division whether they or they should be allowed to time enough the screen runs so the daily should if we're not average more than 12 hours following the per per paragraph percent explains the formula of the military planners to obtain fairly accurate determination of the number of the road crews that we needed for a given rail division. 4 3. The formula determining the railway cr railway road crews. The determination of the road crews needed for the rail, rail division values the unknown substituted them in the following formula the train density, the two factor, uh, two factor the convert to the two way traffic running train time length division of average of the speed of three time allowed for the two hour per call period, the one per hour per to destination, 20 hour, 12 hour shift period, ro per road cr per day, 1.25 is a constant factor, two allowance, 25% of the reserve for sickness, other absences. If you're going to operate a single track of the railway division, miles along the ter terrain density and 10 of 10 and an average speed of 10 miles an hour you can usually determine the number of the road crews you need as follows the number of the road crews by the train density by times 2 times the running time plus 3 divided by 12 plus 1.2 is the constant factor for sickness and other absences the number of the road crews the train density is um is 300 divided by 12 or 25 road crews required the switch crews, in addition, will be necessary to operate the trains moving the lines. You must have the switch crew to operate the switch engine and the performance switch of the yard and the terminal railroad. The number of these crews the rail required them based on the number of the switch engine, the engine to each of the yard terminal, the number of the method of determining the need of the number of the switch engine is explained by 3.8 of the chapter, uh, chapter 3. Once you, once you know that the number substitute the following the formula, the number of the switch crews, switch crew, uh, SE, Times two times 1.5 and switch, switch engines number of switch engines SE then two crews per engine 1.25 um, constant factor allows the sickness or the absence following planning of the person two switch crews are needed for each the switch and each engine per day do not include the switch crews for the reserve switch engines for example in paragraph 38 we found that the three switch engines required for the hypothetical division terminal not included the reserve factor computing the number of switch crews needed for the term each terminal of the computation is uh, made as follows the number of switch crews the switch engine the times two the um, Personnel on um, crews point times one point two the um, lack of the switch of the, um, the uh, amount of show up equals six times one point two the following number of the switch crews seven point or to eight number of switch of the road crews required to determine how many rails units are needed four point five rail units required.
Railway units required 4.5. Number of the kind of the team, train, railroad service unit, railway operation requires basically primarily, principally, number of the transportation railway battalions necessary. In turn, the number of the tra train railway battalions required it depends on the number of the train crews, the road switch needed, the following subparagraph, the base of the reassignment, the capabilities, transportation railway service units. Transportation railway service railway battalion provides over 40 train crews of the attached to the train operating company. Each crew um, works as either a switch or road crew, normally one that's one train railway battalion is assigned to each railway division to operate however they, if they're exception, exceptionally large yard the terminal or on the railroad an additional train yard railroad battalion is generally assigned to operate it to determine the number of the railroad battalions that should be assigned, the total number of the road, road switch crews required to enter the entire line is divided by 40. The number of the crews provided daily per the train railway battalion, the number of division in which the line is divided, however, the main effect of the train railway battalion. For example, if you're going to operate the 38 division of the railway, then you will need 120 crews, three train railway battalions assigned. For if you need 140 crews, then the same three division, however, the normal assignment should be three battalions with additional 20 crews of 140, 120, it equals to 20 assigned through an argument. Of transportation railway service teams, the authorized table of organization equipment tow 55520. On the other hand, the line divided by the fourth division of 150 crews required for the four training train railway battalions would assign to operate it in the kind of operating length and number of the division determination of the cutoff argumentation assignment of the additional train in railway battalions. Transportation railway group, the TRG for the um, Supervisor administrative of the normal senior to trans tra transportation railway services organization theater railway groups are assigned on the basis on one on per two six per transportation railway battalions the transportation railway br brigade assigned to the supervised very large transportation railway services operation for the three group three or more transportation railway groups are required however the rail operation is seldom large enough to get required the self level of supervision four six the de uh, um, example of determination of track railing so ra ra railway service units assume that they are going to operate the five division railways you need a 215 crews um you determine the number of transportation railway service units and they operate the railway line first to the set is to divide 215 crews required by the 40 crews per day daily transportation ra um, railway battalion. Um, the number of the, uh, would be the five transportation railway battalion with the 15 additional crew was assigned through the augmentation authorized T O E five five two zero on one railway group. You would require supervisors the operation. Okay. Four seven. The number of the transportation railway service pro personnel required to operate the military railroad theater operation depended primarily on the number of the railway battalions needed. The number of the transportation railway battalions required based on the number of the road switch crews to operate the entire road. Uh, railroad, the amount of the working necess necessity of the particular railway operation determining the number of the train required for the train crews, including both of the road and the switch crews, can be provided the daily with the transportation railway battalion attached with the train uh, other operating company. The road crew should road crew should not m work more than 12 hours shift allowance and sufficient time off the time of the rest then rest emergency however the 12 hour that can be exhorted the short periods provided the, the time be between runs and length and the proportional switch and requirements better based on the number of the switch engines two switch screws are required the first switch engine third day both road switch screws requirements are calculated using the formula in which they found the values unknown substituting them with them in the formulas once you know the number of the road switch crews that operate the railroad you find the number of the railway units needed the number of the railway battalions needed the number required determination number of the railway transportation railway groups needed to supervise the operation transportation railway service teams organized the TOO TOE five five two two Five five two zero. The assigned to assistant transportation railway groups battalions is needed. Final part of the railway battalions determined the fine the kind of the amount of supplies needed to sustain the operation. The next tra chapter explains how to make the determination. Chapter five: Supply requirements. Okay, um, I'm going to continue then in this chapter five: Supply requirements. The number of the tons of railway supplies needed to operate the railway varies the length of line, the complexity of the operation out with the railway. Some of this supply tonnage is gathering generally rather rather large experience show, as shown the operating supplies makes approximately five to fifteen percent of the tonnage hauled over the railroad. Such so, so supplies are very many varied but there are three principal kinds the fuel lubrication, spare local parts of the motive power, rolling stack of the use of the operation the discussion of the chapter are combined in three kinds of supplies, the method of arriving the specific requirements of each. Five two the steam locomotives either coal or oil generate the power 
of diesel electrical locomotives using oil to run the diesel engine for the consumption rates for the same locomotives is based on the number of pounds of diesel electrical locomotive the number of the gallons are used to the mobile throw can be the same method when one more than one type of locomotive is in, in, used upon the division the fuel required to each type of the computer so fuel required for the road engine switch in to determine the differential differentially fuel for the road engine is based on the amount of the per train mile while the switch engine is based on the amount per use per hour the monthly requirement switch engine to determine the reserve factor is added to the, each type of the fuel used 10% of the coal, 5% of the oil, and three paragraphs explaining how the fuel, f fuel, figure fuel requirements, various kinds of locomotives. Five, three different, uh, these electric locomotives, the average requirements of the standard U.S. Army locomotive listed in the table five, eight shows the, the oil diesel electric locomotives are used in the railroad, railroad service and gallons and the train miles that for switch engines of the gallons per hour the operation using the information table, the amount of oil required for both road switch engines and the engines computed to explain this in the following subparagraph. The road engines, the road engines are fuel based on the number of the train runs daily, the length of the division, the fuel con um, consumption rate of the locomotive to the fine of the full Fuel required for the diesel electric locomotive road engine, multiplying the number of the trains run daily to over the division of the train density by two, the two way traffic, the multiple will result the length of the division for the number of the train miles per division. Remember that when there one type of the road is used, the number of the train miles each type of the compare used separately, the continuing procedure for each of the division totaling the result. You can find the number of the trains per day entering the railroad in table of eight, the full consumption for the particular locomotive intending to use the multiple of the tra total train miles of the factory result in the total. Total talent, gallons of the fuel used per day, the multiple gallons but per day of 30 is the final amount used per monthly. Finally, add 5% to, to allow for the contingency. Examples to compose you are operating two divisions ra railroad using uh, 0, 0, uh, 0, 4, 4, 0, 60, 20 local mode, both division, first division, 96 miles long, and at the train density of 8, and sing second division of 102 miles at the train density of 9. The compute the fi uh, fuel requirements of the locomotive to operate the railroad as follows. First division train dimension needed by the two way travel to 16 numbers of the trains per day, 96 miles, but the length division number is the number of the trains per day, 16 at 576, and divided by 96. Or 596, sorry, 96 times 16 miles of length of day, number of the trains per day equals the number of the trains per mile, it's 1,536 miles. Here shows the tra estimated rate of the fuel consumption, 2 gallons, um, anywhere from 2 to gallons to poundage, um, with pound, like, um, 8 gallons. Um, 115 pounds is 670 pounds of coal or oil burning. Second division, it's nine tra 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 um, train division, train density. The two way traveled in the number of the trains per day is 102 miles. The length of division, 18, the number of the trains per day. The number of train miles per day, the number of the trains miles per day. First division, the number of the train miles. Second division, and this whole train miles per day in the both divisions. Now look at the table for eight and locate the 044, the 600. 60 ton diesel electrical locomotive column had estimated rate of the fuel consumption of the burn 0 0.9 or gain gallons of oil the may per train train mile the multiplying the train number of the per day the gallons burned by the per mile the file where you have the number of the gallons per use per day find the number of the gallons per per month and multiply the number of the gallons per per day by 30 finally you must add five percent huge oil consumption per month to allow for contingency finger final figure of nine thousand ninety five thousand six hundred three gallons of the amount of oil acquired to operate the road engine and a particular road each month b switches the switch engine for the fuel requirement switch engines are usually based on three engines that required the hourly consumption each of the type of the local move the average number of the hours operation switch into 20 hours daily four hours allowed servicing maintenance when estimating the amount of the fuel required of the switch in the first step is multiply the actual number of the switch engines required not including the 20 percent reserve factor explained in, in chapter three by 20 the average number of the hours operation multiplying the result of the appropriate full consumption factor for the table eight of the resulting the fuel Fuel consumption per rate per day for the operation, multiplying this by 30, the number of the gallons required per month, add 5% to allow the contingency following the example, computing the fuel requirements of the switch engines. In the example presented by the preceding scenario, we ask assume that you have already figured that you have need a switch engine, you need seven switch engines that operate the two division railway. Since all engines are the same type, the compute the first it says follows. First, multiply the number of the engines required by 20 to find the number of the hours of the operation per day, per, per day 140 hours. Second, 
let, look, look at the table for 8 and find the consumption for the rate of the 60 ton diesel electric locomotive at 8 gallons per hour. Multiply the consumption of the, the factor number of, the, uh, of hours per day of the operation and the number of the gallons for the oil required for each day of 140 times 8 is 1,120 1, gallons per day. Next, multiply the gallons by 30 days or by day, per day by 30 by determining the amount of the required by the per month of the 1,200. 1,120 times 30 is 33,600 gallons of oil per month. Finally, add 5% to allow for the contingency. 33,600 times 0 .0, 0.005, 1,680, 1,680 equals 35,000 plus the uh, contingency. For the month is 35,280. The amount of oil required for the switching engine for the two engine division is 35,280 gallons per month. 5 4. The coal burning steam locomotives determine the quality quantity of the coal um, required for the locomotive using the formula. Subgraph of FB, A and B below the road engines, the train density um, times 2 by the load density by the TMBD. FCF 2000 S ton per 30 days um, times 30 short ton per month times 10 plus 10 percent total required for the road engines. The train density is TD. The two is two way travel. The length of division, the TMPD, the trains miles per day. The FCF, the fuel consumption factor, 2,000 pounds per ton, 30 month numbers per day. The switch engine, the switch engine times 20 times the fuel consumption. For, Fuel consumption factor um, pounds per day by 30 months with 30 by th times by 30 pounds per month is plus 2,000 a short ton per the month is 10 percent total goal required for the switch engine whereas the switch engine total switch engine required is the 20 average hours per the day operation the fuel consumption factor 30 average days per 10,000 reserve factor. Five five oil burning steam locomotives. The method determining the quali quali quantity of the fuel required for the oil burning steam locomotives, both road and switch them same as using the coal burning locomotive. And oil over the five percent is added only to allow the contingency because of the loss of heat energy less whether using the fuel oil whether using the coal. Five six lubricants. The second category of supplies that must be included with railway lub um, planning is the lubricants, oil grease, and the motive power. The rolling stack. The estimated requirement of lubricants is one thousand pounds per day each of the di per day. The operating in either, either direction or the either, or of either division. Upon the amount of the required beginning, the first division multiply the train density by two, allowing the two-way traffic to multiply the result by one thousand. Find the require pounds required per the per division. Repeat the process each division, then total the amount of the required divisions to determine the total pounds of lubricants required per the month. Of the entire railroad, five seven spare parts. The third and final category: the supplies and the spare. The parts have been necessary for the maintenance, motive power of the rolling stack. We discussed an estimated 1.5 short tons of the spare part are the rates required for the, each train per day, moving in either direction. One, the, uh, one over either the division. The train density established for the first division, multiplying by two for the two-way traffic, then multiplying by the result of 1.5, determining the number of short tons spare parts required for each of the division month. Repeat the process of subsequent division total. The rest of the division, the number of the short tons for the spare required required for each of the month. The entire railroad. Five eight. The summary: Many items supplied the necessary operator of the railroad. The three principal kinds of military planning must estimate the fuel, lubricant, spare parts, the motive power of the rolling stock used for the operation. Either coal oil is used in running steam locomotive or oil to run around the diesel locomotive for the oil consumption fat rates for the steam locomotives are based on the number of the pounds used for the diesel electric locomotive, the number of the gallons used for the um both are commu computed the same method. However, the road switch the engine, the requirements determined differently. Fuel road engines amount the use of the per train mile, mile. Fuel switch engines on the in the amount of use of the per hour. The reserve factor of 10% of the coal and 5% of the oil is monthly requirement for each of the engines to allow for the contingency. The amount of lubricants required for the computed is separately each weekly division on a monthly basis. The requirements based on the estimate of 1,000 pounds per month for each train and train running in each way the pay, each way per day of each division. The requirements are computed for the same method of lubrication except for the basis of 1.5 short tons per month for each of the train per day and per day in each direction. And that is the Railway Operation Planning Reference um, TR603. That's, uh, that's the last chapter.